Welcome back all morning long. We are talking about the dog days of summer, so we brought in two professional dog trainers. Annette Scrivener and Brandon Holleran know all about dogs. They're joining us now with some creative ways to keep your dogs cool and during these hot summer days. Hi, you two. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Brandon, let's start with you just because you're closest. Who did you bring with us today? This is Ruby. She's five years old and she's a lab Rottweiler mix. So let's see how she does today. So. <laughs> First time on television? Absolutely, yes. Wonderful. And Annette, who do you have? This is Charlie. He's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and he is three. And Charlie Charlie's... really wants some attention. Yes. Very nice. Sure Somebody to hold him, please. <laughs> is Charlie your dog? He is my dog. He's yes. your dog. Yep. Okay. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about um, going outside in these dog days of summer. It's hot. I have a big dog like Lloyd at home. You have two dogs at home, uh, or like um, Ruby here. Uh, tell us how, how you go about keeping your dogs cool when it's really, really hot. We wanted to be outside today, but we couldn't because of the rain. So yeah. we're inside kind of talking about some ways. Absolutely. So one of the things Ruby has on right now is a cooling vest. So looks like this. One of the things you can do is just put water on this and then put it on the dog. And as you take them for a walk, uh, it evaporates and helps cool them down. So, because huh. dogs don't idea. sweat yeah. through their skin like we do, they pant and sweat through their pads. Yeah. So this actually helps evaporate, uh, kind of make it cooler around them. You really use this yeah, absolutely. on the dogs when absolutely. it's hot. Yep. 100%. And do you notice it makes a difference? It does, absolutely. Yep. Huh. And I didn't even see, know these were a thing. Yeah, Ruby wears it really, really well. So uh, you could also walk them earlier in the morning or later in the evening yeah. so that it's not quite so hot. Makes sense. And then um, if you do go on a walk with these portable water bowls, you can take. Yeah. Right, like that. Um, just make sure they don't drink too much water because too much water is gonna gonna be a little bad for them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what does too much water mean? Um, so they can get like water intoxication. So yeah. if you put like a whole bowl of water down and they gulp it in say like five, ten seconds, oh. that's probably bad. Okay. Yeah. So we've got the dog in the pool. Yep. We don't want the dog. We don't drink. want them. We don't want the water the whole drinking yeah, all the water right, there. Right. You right. Bet. Yeah. Let's talk about the pool over here sure. that yeah. Charlie is in. I mean. I had a pool for the dogs when they love it. Yeah. I had the poppable ones. This is not a poppable one, so probably a smarter way to go. But how often do you use a pool like you this? You could leave it dogs? in the backyard when it's hot out. You could walk them back there. I'd keep an eye on them so they don't get too hot and they're not drinking too much water in the pool. But and if they don't like the pool, you could throw treats in there, all sorts of things like that to try to encourage them to get in. You and might start with an empty pool too. One so. of our trainers put a solar fountain. You know what? You can put them in bird baths, but put it in the pool. Keep the water going. So oh, then that's the mosquitoes smart. don't yeah. get in there and um, it's really I bet smart. the dogs bite it too. And the too. dogs love it. Yeah, uh -huh. they think that's fun. Okay. Yeah. Well, Chris, let's talk about these popsicles. <laughs> Chris has never done, given yes. his four so dogs. I'm a the terrible girls. dog owner. <laughs> never made this is just frozen watermelon. You could also put bone broth or you know, water and little fruit chunks in like ice cube trays and freeze that and give it to them. Uh, yeah. Watermelon dogs can have. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, because yep. grapes they can't have. That's nope. correct. Yep. So how do so, you know? So um, give me some foods dogs would, can have. Uh, peanut I would butter. Say peanut carrots. butter. Watermelon. They can't have grapes. They could have apples, bananas. Those kind of things are good. Okay. Yeah. Green. He loves green beans. Green he can beans, freeze yep. green beans. Uh, oh. Yeah. I don't have water, but, but yes, the frozen <laughs> watermelon is actually uh, they they usually love it. This one's a little big for Charlie. Um, and they'll just sit and jump on it. And you could throw the frozen watermelon in the pool. Is Excellent. there a concern with too much human food for dogs? Yes, you wouldn't want to give them, say, more than roughly, I don't know, 10% of their diet in watermelon or fruit, right? So just, you know, not a lot. Yeah. But just enough to keep them cool. Ice cubes are also an option, just, you know, giving them an ice cube to chew on. Okay. When it's super hot out, it becomes challenging because you don't want to walk the dogs outside. They can, you know, hurt their paws. Absolutely. On the, what are we doing to help uh, with, like, indoor dog activity? So we could play uh, the get it game, take treats, throw them, dog runs, eats them, comes back, get it, throw another one. You can play that game up and down the stairs as well, right, to tire stairs them out a little bit good. more. Stairs are good, yep. Yep, absolutely. Uh, to keep them kind of mentally engaged, you could uh, put some blankets down on the ground, throw a bunch of treats in the blankets, they kind of fall on the cracks, that kind of thing, and then the dog has to sniff and find them to, to get them out, tires them out mentally. Yep. And then, um, let's see, another... Did I see that you, did you, were you just talking about the dog food one where you throw their dog, at, their dog food at them? Yeah. I feel like that would be torture for Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. If he literally got well, a cup it, of food but it gives them a one job, kibble right? like, at a time, it does. Like, it does. It tires that's, them out. That's the problem it tires with, them with out. When, yeah. if, when you don't get them a walk, like this is their stimulation Absolutely. of the day. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's when they get into trouble doing other stuff, stuff, right? Absolutely, yeah. I, 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 I did that a little, a couple yeah. times. It's taken the, and it bug, bugs me from like an OCD standpoint <laughs> just to take a handful of food and throw it in the floor. But it's always gone by the time I come back, so. Yeah. Tell me about what you guys do and when people uh, seek out uh, canine coaching. So uh, you can go to thecaninecoach.com, and then uh, we have boot camp, which is you drop your dog off for 
uh, the day, pick him up in the evening, and we train the dog for you. We have classes where you just come in the evening with your dog for about an hour, do the classes. We have uh, fit dogs, which is where you drop your dog off during the day, and we tire them out on a treadmill. We oh, do mental activities with them. We teach them tricks. That's also a really good one for hot days in the summer, too. You can Are there popsicle yeah. breaks involved in that? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of classes. Yeah. We have five locations, tons of classes. If you need to cool off, they're all air conditioned. Come on Does in it, with your dog. And if, if somebody's got a dog who just doesn't seem to be getting it, or is there what? How how many like visits would they have to go to for you guys? To, it depends on the dog. To get some but, like basic sort of understanding. But all dogs can certainly learn. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Right. And so. our classes are usually anywhere from four to six weeks. So you come every week, you train your dog, sure. and, and they get a little worn out, and uh, you get some training as well. Does it matter your dog's age? No. Because I know we've got Ruby nope, here who's five. No, nope, they can, can all. You just got an eight-year-old shelter dog. Bring yep. him in. We can still help out. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You can teach an old you dog. Can. That's right. <laughs> yes. That's why that saying exists. Anything that we've missed you to that you can think of on a hot day to keep our dogs feeling good, entertained, yeah. no, active. I, don't think so. I like the idea of the fan. We didn't oh, really yeah, touch didn't too totally much on this. But. So this is good. You can put them in the backyard with them, turn it on. You can also put it like if you have to go to work but they need to be kenneled, you can put that in front of them. Uh, I'm glad you brought up the, the backyard. Mine always want to go outside, even if it's a super hot day. At what point do you. How long should they be outside, and at what point do you pull them back in? It depends on how hot it is, but yeah. I would say maybe 10 minutes, you know, okay. for on real, real hot days. Yeah, right no in. longer than that. So sometimes the dogs would stay out there longer. They would. They, they, like, yeah, they, don't, they don't know, you know. Yep. And yep. the idea, too, that if you can put this with, like, a sprinkler on, like yeah. a yeah. Absolutely. sprinkler, and then have yep. it, like, yep. that's kind and of a And then you've got the pool, you've got yeah. some watermelon. You yeah. can enjoy yep. a little watermelon, too. The, you and the dog can enjoy <laughs> you and the, the dog together. In the pool. I love that. I love that. Right. Well, Lynette and Brandon, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's really interesting. Yeah. Nice to meet thanks you. Thanks for having us. We'll post details about the canine coach on your favorite website, minnesotalive.com.